Hello everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Welcome again everybody, this is Salvi with your little news VTuber squirrel here, talking about the Luxian boys. In this case, they are not going to be beating the favoritism allegations with the new collab and merch, according to what is going on here with... Kamisa Toya, right here. Kamisa Toya, Nidisanji, and Luxium. They're having uh, the basically full on Peta Peta China Ichiban Kuji, Banhua Awards China Badge Lottery, payment deadline 529 of 2024. Reservations may end early if they are sold out. Uh, basically, I don't think they're going to get sold out, but who knows? They're having, it looks like, those look like actual plushies, but they, yeah, they look like plushies, which is new interesting you have the little heads here basically you have just decapitated them and they are headless now so that's good and you have the little merch things here different merches uh critic stands as always you have badges as always little cards this time and a poster because it's bandai namco doing it together and you have of course the badges the little circular badges as they always do with luxium and um you know little it looks like a coaster maybe or is that a seat no it's no it's actually it's actually a picture picture stand well, I mean, it looks like they're trying to do something, but I think it's more Bandai Namco than uh, Luxium at this point. The uh, whole EN branch is so done for, and he tries to squeeze every last drop of bucks in this. EN will probably merge with the main branch JP. Ah, it's steadily declining. Not even their usual accelerate strategy works, uh, as we've seen how TTT is being treated. TTT, I do feel bad for TTT because, I mean, Vivi came in, Victoria came in wanting to see her Oshis, and the Oshis left soon after she became a part of TTT. Uh, Claude Calmark has had some bad, um, bad words, not, not like bad takes, I would say, better said, on everything that's going on. So it's not going to go well for them. Only a matter of time, I hope the talents uh, who remain have an exit plan. I hope they do. I know that Neji is all about quick and short return, uh, but they surely are milking their cows dry with all this stuff without any backup plans. It's top heavy and depends on whether these guys can perform 100%, which they can't so far as far as we've seen. Uh, because the rep is already bad, Vox or Luca, or worse, unable to perform at all due to their physical problems, sickness, injury, those type of things. Or worst case scenario, they get burned out due to having to do so much. More Luxia merch, of course, because it's their, it's their golden goose. They want their golden goose to pay them. Uh, even if there are lots of Luxian fans around the world, it will come when they reach a time a limit of spending. Uh, the whales will keep spending, though. The whales will definitely keep spending. Can't buy merch anymore. They'll reach spending fatigue soon. They should follow cover regulating their merch release and fandom spending. Suisei's merch is high-valued and popular, so they regulated it by not releasing merch too often, which is smart. You don't release it too often. You, you give some, some time for people to recuperate from their last spending spree. Let's be real for a moment. Niji Sandi and most successful gen. Of course, they'll be the company favorites. The stupidity of denying that they're not proclaiming that they equally share the same opportunities. Yeah, it is basically no favoritism in Niji Sanji, no Warren Bossing Say type of thing. Uh, valid point. Most of the most popular female library got the same opportunities, but somehow Selene didn't. I can guarantee the Dragoons wouldn't would would have gone buck wild for merch like this. Absolutely, they would have. So then Obsidian didn't get any fancy dinners with management because, as Luca mentioned, as was mentioned in the Luca document with Raziel, they got a fancy dinner with Riku actually being there at a fancy uh, sushi place, and uh, they didn't get consistent merch. Sanrio collab, you know, Obsidian didn't get as much as Luxium is getting, and they are a popular female side. Now, in order for it to be fair and honest, I want to get you guys to the Kamisatoya one. Let's see if I can find it. And here it is, since I do like showing sources to you guys. Here's the Kamisatoya account. Here is the Nidisanji EN merch one. And they're also doing something for Dead Space, you know, the Love and Deep Space, which is other people. As you can see, they do other merch collabs here with other uh, groups, whether it be uh, Luxium or otherwise. So they are a company that does a lot of different collabs, or at least produces the collabs for a lot of people. Here's Kamisatoya's actual site here which was shown before this is all the merch that they're doing including their other collabs the Nidhi Sanji EN2 uh, collab here um, all their stuff that they're doing uh, some of these zero yen ones are oh the, this Luxium one was sold out already so at least some of this the the full 108,000 yen which is about a thousand dollars a little bit less than a thousand dollars like 900 bucks or so this has sold out so some of the limited edition merch is selling out this that this one as I mentioned before is the full mixer of everything so that has sold up. This is basically having the full complement of everything. Here's the more limited merch of 40, about 40 bucks or so. 
$35 to $40 or so for this one, the more limited one. And yeah, so one of them is already sold out. Just wanted to give you the full rundown of everything. Unfortunately, fortunately, whichever way you want to see it, this is the blue squirrel talking about uh, your 500k people, the people who just hit 500k recently in the downward trend, not an upward trend. Uh, which one is going to go below it? We don't know which is going to hit first, Finana Ryugu or Petra Gurren. I think Petra Gurren's been at 500k for a bit. So basically, the ups are the people that they're getting as subscribers are evening out with the people that are losing subscribers. Uh, so it's going to say Finana. Petra really doesn't have any major controversies other than being in the company. I feel like Petra's getting way overhated for the 3DS and Riku. So yeah, she did try to paint Riku in a better light, and that's what got her a lot of the hate. One of the dumbest things to do, knowing your corporate and there is reputation or ash storm right now. Not aware that Finana has Japanese viewers supporting her, so this question shouldn't be even asked. She has viewers? Question mark. Uh, there are people still viewing her from what I from what I can look. I don't really see any Japanese views. So the only time she showed up for me was recent anniversary when she collabed with Elira. Uh Let's see. They both have already. The site is doesn't update. They dropped over 1K. Finana is at 499, and Petra's at 499, 398. Finana still has a little bit more, so she lost another like 42. And uh, Petra lost a couple hundred. So YouTube is behind as well. The, YouTube, a lot of times, will not show you these things directly. After, you know, after a little bit of, of stuff going out there, it won't do that right away. Uh, pretty sure YouTube rounds up. It does round up to subscriber count a lot of times. Power base uh, G, uh, I hope it's Finana. Uh, Fish, serious stone of surprise that many of them are still bleeding subs. Blackstream was three, uh, for the three aren't surprising, but, you know, it, it's, it's hurting everybody. If it's educate yourself, we'll get the award. Currently, it's it's coin flip. Both are bleeding subs. You don't, you never know. But they're both gonna fall under it. Who knows who's gonna be first though? That's the main thing that people are saying. Just who knows who's gonna be first? But uh, they're both gonna drop below it. Absolutely, because they keep losing. Just a quick rundown of something that took, that caught my eye with Kotokatora Hime. Uh, she is at least back for the semi part of what's happening right now. Right now, let me just go over who Kotokatora Hime is for all those uninitiated who are just watching for the first time. We have Kotokatora Hime, which is part of Nidisanji Ien. She was the same generation that Zion Lanza was, Finana is, that type of thing. Um, they are, I believe, the same generation. Correct me if I'm wrong. I may be very wrong about that. But uh, they were friends, at least, with, uh, with Zion Lanza at that point in time. Uh, she has, um, you know, other Nidisanji livers right here. Uh, and we have her here with a 3D live for Toru that she's mentioning. And this 3D live for Toru was uh, saying basically, wow, what a surprise. It was possible to become 3D. Thank you. I'm feeling very nervous, but I'll do my best. Please look forward to it. Uh, this is her YouTube channel, which is the one that Nidisanji gives you. Uh, and here is, you know, a little bit of overview of who she is. She is uh, Seventh Wave which was Dopio Dropsythe, Zion Lanza, Hex Haywire, Melico, and Ver Vermillion. So I was incorrect with the Finana thing. Finana was just someone that uh, Sayu talked with. Um, but, you know, she was part of Ex Soleil with all these people here. And, you know, she had her debuts. She had all that kind of stuff. So I correct myself right now. She wasn't with Finana. Uh, and she responds in Japanese here on May 17th. So this is pretty recent because the one before that, as we can see here, is in April. So she was spending, as we know, she spent a lot of time uh, just taking a break, not be participating in VCR this time. Sorry for the confusion in April. And, and she started in, um, in February. She mentioned that she was going to be taking a bit of a break. She deleted it now, but or at least it's not here now. But it, in February, she mentioned that she was going to be taking a bit of a hiatus because she her mental health wasn't so great. And she talked to her uh, to her therapist. Therapist recommended it. She decided to take it. And right now she has made a guest appearance. Uh, congratulations on the 3D. So she is back to doing some at least guest appearances while she's still on hiatus. So is this a return to form? Is this does this mean that within like the end of the month or next month she's going to come back? We don't know, but hopefully if she does come back, her mental health will not be a problem and she will be better. This is right now the uh, Illyra 3.0 brush up. Of course, this person took it as 821 views 18, after 18 minutes. Um, YouTube has a weird way of counting up the views. It will probably take about an hour or so for it to fully reflect the views that you got after a stream. I noticed that myself, just trying to be fair and even here. You know, the squirrel tries to be fair and even. I don't know if the tag is correct, but vaguely remember 2K watchers when the stream was up, then it showed a 21 bothered to be a viewer. It's just a YouTube issue. It didn't update correctly. It didn't update correctly. Views don't seem to take CCV into account for some reason. The CCV here, which is the one that we want to look at more, was 2021. So um, assuming there were some people who came, left, came, and left, she's probably going to get somewhere around 
maybe 15, 20K within the first hour or so. Honestly, 6.7 Finanas isn't too bad of a number. Six to seven Finanas, pretty good, at least in her eyes. Rookie numbers keep the drain going. The face used to bring memories of comfy streams. Now it just makes me feel sad. The black video totally changed the perceptions of everything. Yes, it will. It will change perceptions because it's a lot of negative people. Keep in mind, really bad guys, the company itself. I'll never bully her over anything, but let's be real here. Nothing has happened thus far to disprove the implication that she is the click leader. The black screen video was the final straw for a lot of people, company or not. She chose to do that. And the thing is, of course, she could have been forced to do that. She could have felt a loyalty to do that. I am not going to be the one to harass anybody. I'm just bringing news out here. Of course, do not harass the livers. Do not harass anybody mentioned in these videos, please. Did peak at 1.9, I saw, but it's pretty low. We usually saw the brush ups hitting at least 3K for a little bit. She picked a 2042 per VR buy. It's still underwhelming, but it's because the opportunity of Aster, the opposite of Aster Arcade is outfit reveal, which in case the number isn't really that bad. I think the bigger takeaway is the F was the schedule opposite of Aster Arcadia's new outfit reveal. Very confusing decision. So they had to compete with Aster Arcadia when they don't, uh, they could have had them done back to back, raided each other. Yeah, that would have been better. A raid would have actually helped Elira's numbers a lot or Astro Arcadia's in the other way if they did it one way or the other. Not directly competing with each other, but as we know, Nidhi Sandy likes making them compete with each other. Do brush up streaks like this usually go bad? Her last lit streams have been better numbers uh, when way lower than pulling just yesterday. Uh, for the, the free chat question, YouTube streamers have a schedule far into the future so that people can get ready for that. Sometimes they are scheduled for far into the future and others for the week, with thumbnail being their weekly schedule. Uh, regarding the views in the stream, apparently YouTube doesn't like to take CCV into account for views when a stream is over. And since she ended the stream 18 minutes ago, 821 is not an accurate number, like I was saying. Now we're supposed to get these upgrades through raffles. What are the odds she gets one so soon, just after what, a month after her hiatus? Uh, maybe she just won the raffle, question mark? Or, you know, there could be favoritism. Anyways, Hilary used to be Nidhi Sanji numbers. I like voice and character-wise. One of the members that they liked voice and character-wise. And even bought an acrylic stand at a third-party shop. Now I see her in her sigh of disappointment. Moving on to another thing I wanted to put on here. Kurosanji VTuber, Lyra Pandora subscriber counts dropping for the last 90 days. They have been dropping 20,000 in the last 90 days. She's below 600K. She's going to be reaching 500K within the next couple of months, most likely. Her indie PL is deleted. Her current is dropping, working normally. I don't know if people harass her outside of Japan workplace, but some will from her voice. Seems like Japan is her home regardless of this. Uh, Niji will never address things that happen after, even if graduation happens. Silencing contract for her specifically will make the leaked one look more like peanuts. The management will guarantee make five to ten times worse. That yeah, if, if she graduates, management's going to make it really bad for her. They try to control the narrative always. They will try to do it now. We've seen their tactics evolve as time goes on with Sayu. They tricked their livers into believing their narrative and made like Finana and others, you know, bad talk, talk bad about her. And uh, with Selene, they lined up their talents to share the lie they cooked up for them, having them read that document. More than confident if Elira graduates or is terminated, the company will take legal action against her to ensure silence, make her sign that silencing contract so that she, they, they quote unquote don't get slandered. To be fair, Zion shows that you don't have to sign the silencing contract. You just got to be careful with your words and suffer mild slandering. I am now legally obligated to say that the part about mild slander is a joke. Um, whether she is forced or willing to do the black stream, the black stream really did destroy her and her credibility everywhere. That's the main thing. This is why this is happening. Her credibility got destroyed. A real quick rundown of those who still watch Needy said things gotten better. Thanks to all the people who answered the questions before. They want to see if there's any positive changes in this thing. Of course, it's Needy Sandy, so there are going to be no positive changes. They have done nothing. How could it get better? Pretty said I watch VTubers here and there, regardless of affiliations. In your carpool, so I'm just keeping an eye out. So far, nothing seems to have even changed. It's possible they have become more reclusive. Yeah, basically trying to close in ranks, circle the wagons type of thing. Guaranteed depression to some of the obvious still hiding it. Off screen can help. Have no idea of Fanana Valorant Discord group. It doesn't seem to be anyone from there to help to see how she is. Illyra is just one of the usual, just as usual. Just doing her usual stuff, which is fine. Other Discord related, uh, mostly abandoned or Dead Finana official fan group. Not everyone in the group has been inspected though. So avoiding uh, the cultist fan groups have been, has been, I've been hearing almost zero chance anyone got to the Valo Guard Discord. Uh, select group of people who were even allowed to hand out invites. So yeah, I got a peek into some of them. Nothing changed. Still going on a normal routine. Nothing happened between February, and March, April. I don't know what's positive change, but in my understanding, it's more of I'm catering to those who are still here and are okay with everything that's happening. Uh, though you can still feel the dead air, forced laugh, acting, and cringe moments at some in every stream since they do need to do something to retain or get more viewers. What bothers me is the lack of innovation in the streams. It's like the same formula, same jokes, same cringe, same everything. 
The only VTuber person I saw innovating was Scarlett Yonagumi, and that's because she has a lot of plans. She's actually being creative with a lot of plans she has, and that's very good, which is good. Rosemi had a 3D Ring Fit stream recently. So, you know, a couple of things. Uh, X Abio Himawari seem to be in stable positions. Nothing with NDG, though. A short little meme break for you guys. Here, the spider meme fits. What is the spider meme? We're going to go through here. Stop what you're doing and, and stop this VTuber company. Uh, the you, you, you? No, it's not Face Connect. It's not Idle EN. It's not V Shoujo. It's the black one. Of course, it is uh, Nidhi Sanji. And uh, Pixel Link, I guess, is uh, one of the black ones. But in this case, it's Nidhi Sanji as well. Uh, yeah, there are unfortunately black companies there. Nidhi Sanji is the biggest one. And of course, you got to love these memes. You have the F meme uh, for Nidhi Sanji. Nidhi Sanji lost so much after they threw Salantatsuki into the bus. Made events that were flops and caused energy to drink X alcohol incident. And now they deleted many posts in a Nidhi Sanji subreddit. Do you understand how F they are? They are very F'd. And a drink, energy drink X alcohol news didn't really hurt Nidhi that much. Uh, didn't notice any people talking about it. So it didn't hurt them that much in the JP sphere, in the EN sphere. Of course it did. But yeah, it's they, they are very effed. They are very effed. They're basically this leopard with this baby fawn here. They're definitely effed. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.